Welcome back, artists. Now that we have all of our shapes drawn out and we've noticed that there aren't any big spaces that are bigger than two fingers, we are going to start painting our shapes. And we're going to give you some nice bright colors to do this. To, to notice that we have six different options. Our goals when we paint are to first make sure we fill the space completely. We are careful on our edges, outline first, and then we can go a little bit faster once we fill it in. The other thing we want to try to do is to not put the same color next to each other. So if I paint this circle green, I'm not going to want to do my diamond green or this blob shape green. I can do more than one shape the same color, but I don't want them right next to each other. So I could do this cloud shape, or I could do this leaf shape, or this triangle shape green, but not the ones right next to it. This is liquid temper paint, so that means you're just going to take your brush and you're going to dip it into the paint. You're going to fill your brush. Notice how I'm just putting it on the tip. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to hold my brush like a pencil, and I'm going to first outline my shape. So I'm going to put the paint down. Notice how I'm sort of pulling the brush along to fill in this space. And then once we have the outside filled, the outline done, we can go a little bit faster on the inside. Now this paint looks, doesn't look quite as bright on this black paper right now, but once it dries, this paint is designed to dry opaque. That means is as it dries, it's going to block out the black behind it. So even though this doesn't look like it's painted completely, I want you to just wait and let it dry, and then you'll see what happens. Now I want to do this shape green as well. Green is my favorite color, so I am probably going to do a couple more green shapes than maybe I would a color that's not my favorite on my paint palette. So again, I'm using careful edges. I'm keeping my bristles together. I'm going around the edge first. I'm dipping so there's just paint on the tip of the brush. The metal part of the brush is not touching the paper. And I turned the paper so I am painting close to where my paint is. I don't want to be dragging my paint all the way across the paper. It could accidentally drip and land on something, an area that you don't want that color. So again, outlining first, and then I can go a little bit faster once I have the outline done on the inside. All right, and I think I'm gonna to wanna to do even a few more with my green. So I'm gonna do a couple more greens, and then I'm going to be switching colors to paint all of my shapes. I have painted several different shapes with green, but now I want to change colors. So I have green on my brush. I need to very carefully clean up my brush at my spot. So you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna dip it in the water, and you're gonna press gently on the bottom and this is going to separate the bristles and the brush and let the paint come out. You're going to do that a couple of times. Notice how I'm not making any noise. I'm not splashing the water. And then once I feel like this is clean, then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to dry my brush on my paper towel. And then I'm going to look at where I dried my brush to see that it is just wet. There is no green. So now I'm ready for my next color. As you continue to paint, our goal is to paint every single shape on our paper. And we also want to make sure that we are using all the different colors. 